Yesterday was Ubisoft Forward Show, which showed a ton of news, in particular on the Assassin's Creed series, which is definitely a series I've loved since its inception 15 years ago, but so far on the channel we've really focused on strategy and city building games, so I will focus on the news that was shared about Anno 1800 in this showcase. But do tell me in the comments below if you're interested in me covering more, for example Assassin's Creed. So, Anno 1800. It was short and actually part of the pre-show of the Ubisoft Forward, so you may have completely missed it. We got the first trailer for DLC 12. First let me show it to you, it's 40 odd second, and then I want to share a few things I've captured from this trailer, including big news about release date. Okay, so this was the trailer, don't hesitate to share in the comments below your thoughts. I know some people really don't love CGI trailers and prefer either direct gameplay or cinematic trailers. On my side, I'll focus on what we can deduce from it. This first view, I mean for me this is definitely either a new building or a new trader AI in the new world with this lighthouse and a large building. It could be all Nate finally coming to the new world for example, especially as we know that the map of the new world will get extended, will get bigger with this DLC. Talking about the map, this scene here felt to me as a reminder that the map, as I just said, will get extended. Like the fog of war around the current map will be revealed, so we have a bigger map to play on. But maybe I'm getting it completely wrong. We also know that this new DLC will bring a new, a third tier of population to the new world. The Jonaros and Obreros will get the third one which in some of the messages we've seen also linked a bit to be cultural, so a bit more like the tourists or the scholars rather than, you know, investors or something like this. And to me this is clearly this new residence we can see here, which feels a lot like New Orleans for me. It's higher than our current residence for sure, but not like skyscrapers either. We also see those residents on this last image over here. Then the big one is the last building that's sort of being revealed here, which is definitely a new major monument. Think about the Iron Tower, but for the new world. Now what is this? Well, the first time I saw it, I thought it was a coliseum. But after sleeping on it, I'm thinking either a sports stadium, a large amphitheater, or more importantly or more likely to keep with the Spanish inspiration of the new world, I think it's probably something like a bullfighting ring. But now, as promised, let's talk about release date. This is in this last scene over here, it says this winter. The last DLC of each season most often comes in winter, yes, but the big thing for me is they didn't say 2022. Let's remember the Passage DLC for season 1 was December 10th of 2019, Land of Lions for season 2 was October 22nd of 2020, then the high life was actually super early for season 3 because it was the 30th of August 2021. But now DLC 11's Empire of the Sky, which is the second DLC right for season 4, is only releasing in 10 days on September 20th. So it's very late for the second DLC, which means many people have been wondering can they really deliver the third one this year or will it be next year? And now, with this winter without the 2022, it really officially opens the door for me. Winter technically means up to February or March 2023, depending on your definition. And of course, if you consider the Northern Hemisphere, right? I live in the South Hemisphere and in South Africa. I'm definitely not keen to wait until our own winter, which will be, you know, more kind of July, August 2023 for it. On the other hand, don't get me wrong, I am 100% behind the Anno team taking their time to make this DLC 12 a success, even if we have to wait until March 2023 to do that. 
Still, I thought this was important to highlight to all of you and also I think it does mean something else. Because if this is postponed to 2023, what does it mean for season 5, right? It may be another hint that we may not get season 5 next year or it may be a super short one. I was talking yesterday in my episode that is covering the new dev blog with the Grand Gallery that I think this Grand Gallery could be another way for Ubisoft, for the Anno team to make us you know, still play while they create the next game. I think once again this could be another hint to that. What do you think? Did you see anything else in the trailer that I may have missed? What are your thoughts on this release date in Season 5? I'd love to hear about it. And while we wait for DLC 11, don't hesitate to go check my current Anno 1800 series where we are playing on a completely custom map I created myself with only small islands which means this is both an economic and military challenge. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.